Hello, this is Chetan Narula reporting for Cricket World. Uh, we've just finished day two of uh, the second test between West Indies and India at uh, Savina Park here in Kingston, Jamaica. You can hear, uh, perhaps hear the music in the background, you know, after, after the play gets over. We have, a, we have a bit of a music going on in the party stands in, um, in, in, all, the, in all the stadiums here in, in the West Indies. That's, that's cricket in the Caribbean for you. But let's talk about the actual cricket um, on today's, uh, today's play. Uh, Lokesh Rahul scoring 158, his, uh, his highest individual score uh, in Test cricket and his third overseas uh, Test 100. He's, he scored three Test 100s, all of them have come outside India, the first one in Sydney, the second one in Colombo and now the third one in uh, Jamaica. So he's, he's turning out to be a bit of a specialist player. Also he's uh, scored um, the highest ever total for, highest ever individual score in fact for an Indian opener playing his first innings or a first test in the West Indies. Shikhar Dhawan had 85 in last match. Uh, before that, Ajay Jadeja had 90-odd uh, uh, in, uh, in 96. And Sunil Gawaskar had 65 in, uh, in the historic 1971 series. So, so a bit of a good start for uh, KL Rahul in, um, in, terms of, uh, in terms of history. He scored 158 today, put up two crucial partnerships with Chiteshwar Pujara and Virat Kohli. Pujara doing a lot of uh, hard work, toiling, um, playing a lot of tot balls. He took, he took 35 deliveries in the morning to, to get off uh, his overnight score, scored two runs of 35 balls in the first session of, um, in, in the first hour of play, in fact, and, uh, you know, scored, 40, uh, sc scored 46 runs, yes, 46 runs in, in the first inning, which came off 159 balls and had just the four boundaries. So he would be disappointed to be run out uh, just before his half century. He did all the hard work. He's been in, like he said, he's been in good form, but the runs are not coming. The milestones are not coming. And I wonder if Murli Vijay, if fit for the St. Lucia test, that is the third test in St. Lucia, and if with Kale Rahul scoring runs, what might the combination of the top order would look like? But that's, that's something for later. Virat Kohli then uh, came in and he added uh, a few runs as well. He scored 44. At the end of the day, Ajinkya Rahane, 42, no doubt. But India lost a few wickets after the new ball was taken uh, in the post-T session. Rahul, one of them, edging down leg side. Virat Kohli also caught at uh, forward short leg. And then uh, Ar Arashwin, who's uh, batting at number six. Now he scored just the three runs out LBW to Devendra Bishu. So India finished um, day two ahead uh, by 160 odd runs, they've scored 358. They are five wickets down, five wickets remaining. Ajinkya Rahane and Rudiman Saha uh, are at the crease and they'll start uh, day three. There's a bit of uh, a threat for uh, rain showers tomorrow morning. So we'll see how this match develops. As for uh, the West Indies, perhaps for the first time in the series, they've looked, a bit they've looked like challenging India a bit. In the final session of play with using the new ball, they took three wickets, posed a bit of a problem. You know, the new ball doing a bit more on this up and down Savina Park pitch. And at the same time, we also have to give them credit for bowling a tight line throughout the day. Only 200, uh, 230 odd runs coming for India in the entire day today. So they kept it tight, didn't let the Indians get away like they did in the first test. And that was key for West Indies' plans of delaying the Indian declaration as much as possible. Like I said, there's a, there's a bit of trail of rain on day three, so that might make things uh, interesting a bit. Maybe liven up this uh, pitch a little bit more, and uh, we have an interesting uh, next two, three days of uh, test cricket ahead of us.